اتش اي اف يو ان ليفر بلكسنسي موجود نعم نعم لايف برزنتيشن A non-invasive ablative therapy for primary and secondary liver tumors. Diseases that harm require therapies that harm less. Some people go far by considering HIFO to be the surgery of the future. HIFO is an abbreviation for high intensity focused ultrasound. Since 1942, Lynn et al. firstly <clears throat> brought forward the conception of HIFO. Early in the 1950s, William Free and Frank Free envisioned in vivo treatment with high-intensity focused ultrasound as a novel, non-invasive technique that uses an extracorporeal source of focused ultrasound energy to induce coagulative necrosis in targeted tissues without damaging overlying and surrounding vital structures. Free applied HIFO technology to experimentally treat nervous system diseases and suggested the potential of HIFO in surgical However, not until the 90s was this dream turned into reality by a team of researchers from China led by Professor Wang. HCC is the most common primary liver cancer. It is now the third leading cause of cancer death. Hepatitis and excessive alcohol is also the leading cause of HCC. A liver metastasis is a cancerous tumor that has spread to the liver from a cancer that has started in another place. 20-30% to 30 of patients with colorectal cancer will have liver deposits at time of diagnosis and an overall of 50% will develop liver deposits during the course of treatment. Other primary cancers that are most likely to spread to the liver are breast, esophagus, stomach, pancreas, lung, and rectum. Cholangiocarcinoma is a cancer that arises from the cells within the bile ducts, both inside and outside the liver. When the tumors arise within the liver, the tumor can be small or large. The terms cholangiocarcinoma and bile duct cancer are often used interchangeably. Cholangiocarcinoma is a type of tumor that is very difficult to treat. Liver transplantation is considered the most definitive treatment available for HCC because it removes both the tumor and the underlying diseased liver if the tumor size is within the acceptable guidelines, which is, are known as the Milan criteria. Liver resection is still the main treatment option for HCC and liver deposits and also cholangiocarcinoma whenever feasible. With advances in technology, local ablation therapies has emerged as an effective treatment option. These include cryoablation, laser, microwave, RF, and currently HIFO. HIFO is based on the unique characteristics of ultrasound beams, which can be focused at a distance from the transducer. The accumulation of the energy at the focal region induces tissue necrosis of the target lesion without causing damage to the surrounding structures. The ability to induce, to induce immediate cell death at a distance from the ultrasound source without need of surgery or insertion of ablation instruments makes HIFO a very attractive treatment option. The location and extent of treatment can be monitored accurately with real-time ultrasound imaging. In grayscale ultrasonic images, a hyperechoic region occurs within the exposed volume after focused ultrasound exposure which is considered as the indicator of tissue necrosis and has been used to judge the realization of effective ablation. How does HIFO work? HIFO ablation effect is achieved by two mechanisms. The thermal effect above threshold of 60 degrees rapid thermal toxicity occurs, causing irreversible cell death through coagulative necrosis in few seconds. This focusing minimizes the potential for thermal damage to tissue located between the transducer and focal point because of the intensities are much lower. Mechanical phenomena, cavitation occurs due to alternating compression and expansion of tissue as ultrasound field propagates through it. What are the advantages of HIFO? It's a non-invasive extracorporeal treatment to preserve organs and structures with no blood transfusion and no radiation. 
It's precise ablation, one-time treatment in most of cases, with no limited addition of tumor size and shape, real-time ultrasound guided with digital quantitative analysis, activation of the immune system, short hospital stay, low cost, and no skin incision. And that's why it is completely non-invasive. Ablation technology, the ultrasound beam propagating through tissue, focuses in a single point, which is the focal point of ablation. From a point to a line and then a slice and then a volume that covers the entire tumor at any shape. This is how HIFO works. As you can see here, we ablate a point and then after a point, we take a point beside it to form a line and then after a line, we take multiple lines to form a slice and then slice after slice, you make a volume. And this is how you ablate a volume, whether it is circular, it's rectangular, it's oblong, whatever the shape of the, of the tumor is, you can just start ablating it uh, one point at a time. It gives you, you can do large volume ablation, which is feasible, safe ablation of HCC and deposits adjacent to major vessels, safe ablation of HCC in the presence of the situs. And I believe that this is one of the most important advantages that HIFO has as, a, as, an, uh, as an ablation therapy technique, which is that it works easily in the presence of ascites, and, uh, and uh, it's not a limitation or a contraindication. It also can safely ablate tumors uh, subcapsular. Uh, and this is, as you can see here in the image, the, the, it, it goes to, a, to, to very thin, narrow, between the uh, uh, limit between the bleated zone and the normal liver tissue. How do you assess tissue response? Uh, like rate, radio frequency and microwave, appearance of hyperechoic region within the insulated volume is adopted as an indication of tissue necrosis. The ultrasonic image just before em emitting the therapeutic acid is acquired, and the image immediately after HIFO is automatically captured within the therapy system. By comparing these two images, echogenic changes within the target volume could be easily judged. As you can clearly see here, this is the target region on the left side and on the right side. Like people who are doing uh, uh, local ablation, uh, RF or microwave, you can clearly appreciate the uh, change. I'll give you a few examples of our cases that we did. This is a 55-year-old male patient with a single liver deposit from cancer colon. Uh, primary tumor was resected. The patient took chemotherapy, which did not the, the deposit did not respond to it. The sonication time is 1,290 seconds, and the meaning of sonication time is the beam, the active tumor ablation time, and the room time is 98 minutes. As you can see here, uh, uh, the deposit is seen in segment four, and you can well ap uh, uh, appreciate its presence. And here you can see the uh, B mode images, uh, ultrasound images during the ablation, during the technique. And you can well appreciate see, appreciate the, 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 the image. You can see the hypochoic tumor tissue here in segment four. And this is uh, the, the images below. You can see the ablation here. And this is during the ablation. You can see the grayscale changes here, which is very obvious during the ablation. And also we can see that the patient is lying in a, in a water tank, a small water tank, where there is cold water on the skin as a media for the transfer of the ultrasound beam and also cooling of the skin. And this is the post-treatment images. You can see well that the tumor is very well ablated. And actually, the patient is doing very well now uh, with no recurrence. Case number two, we have a 79-year-old male patient with single liver deposit from cancer colon. The private tumor was also resected. The patient took chemotherapy. Sonication time was 1,600 seconds. And room time was 125 minutes. As you can see here, we have a deposit uh, in segment 6 in the inferior part of the right lobe here, and uh, which is actually considered a bit of a difficult site, especially that it is quite near to the kidney. And uh, this is during the ablation. You can very well appreciate the tumor here. It's very well appreciated. It's also near the capsule. And uh, you can see here the grayscale changes on the image below. The grayscale changes here, uh, denoting uh, ablation. And here are the post-operative images. You can well see that it's almost like a ge geographic distribution. And that's why some people call it uh, uh, HIFO surgery, 
because it's as if you're doing a resection. It's a very clear geographic uh, ablation here. And this patient is doing well since uh, I did this patient maybe three and a half years now. No recurrence. Case number three is a 34 year old female with single liver deposits from breast cancer. And as we all know, breast cancer is usually a vascular, hypervascular deposit, which is, which is a real challenge. Adding to it the challenge that the tumor is present uh, between the right portal bifurcation, as we can see here in the MRI images. Uh, sonication time was 1120 seconds. Its room time was 95 minutes. And you can uh, well see the images that tumor is present in the bifurcation of the anterior and posterior portal branches, which is quite a difficult site challenging site we also did the grace uh, this is the high for image where you can see the grayscale uh, changes uh, during the treatment actually and this is the ultrasound image post here yeah, which is uh, which gives you a very well impression on, the, on hope good ablation and now you can see the post operative images where you can see that the tumor is completely ablated and actually, it was a very, uh, it was a very well treated lesion. Case number four is a 61 year old male patient with pathologically proven cholangiocarcinoma, no biliary obstruction, normal labs, normal general condition. So, indication time was 1,006 seconds. Room time was 19 minutes. You can see here the cholangiocarcinoma in the right lobe. Here you can see the B-mode images of the during the treatment with, uh, with the gray scale changes. And here you can post treatment. This is the first session and you can very well see that there are also still residual uh, not ablated tumors in the deep area uh, after the lesion. But you can see the well, uh, well, uh, well see the ablated zone here and uh, the patient is due for another session to continue the treatment. Case number five is a 49 year old female with pathologically proven cholangiocarcinoma, no biliary obstruction, normal labs, no gen normal general condition. Here, and uh, you can see that uh, the B mode images showing the, the, the grayscale changes uh, in the left lobe lesion. And here are the post operative uh, images showing well ablation of this uh, tumor. It's very well ablated actually. And also we have here a very challenging case which is a, which was a 24 year I did this case three years ago, which was a 24 years old male patient with pathologically proven cholangiocarcinoma. He had moderate biliary obstruction uh, uh, and an intro, a metallic stent was introduced because we cannot uh, ablate with the presence of a plastic stent. And, uh, and his labs was normal. His sonication time was 1,006 seconds. His room time was 111 minutes. And as you can see in the images here, you have a, like a bilobular tumor in the hy hilum, mainly the left hilum of the liver. Here is during the ablation, uh, you can uh, see the grayscale changes. And also having a metallic stand gives you an anatomy because as you know, we work live. Uh, so you can very well ablate just close to the metallic stent. And here are the images uh, post uh, treatment and you can very well appreciate the ablation of the tumor which was a very good response. Even the track from the biopsy was well ablated also down up to the capsule. And uh, this patient stayed tumor free for three years. And then he developed uh, new lesions in the right lobe uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the left lobe, to which he was taking chemo. All our cholangiocarcinoma cases, by the way, are taking combined chemo at the same time. This is a case with, uh, with a small HCC in the right portal hilum. And uh, the patient was child A, is alpha fetal protein was 250. And you can very see the, see the challenge of the, of the region being here. It was very challenging having the tumor in this site. His sonication time was 1,108 seconds. His room time was 159 minutes. 
and you can see here the scale changes during the treatment and then uh, post-operatively one month six and twelve months you see that the tumor was com well ablated and almost shrunk completely and not visible but always I have to clarify that HCC is always a challenge because uh, uh, HCC of low vascularity will have a very good response but HCC will have with high vascularity we would recommend in this current state to work combined with TACE. Uh, also, we can see here uh, HIFO in the presence of ascites, and uh, it can be used very well to downstage and decrease the size of the tumor. And it's completely non invasive. Also, you can see here HIFO ablation near hepatic vein without uh, causing any problems to the hepatic vein or effect, uh, big effect to the heat sink. High intensity focused ultrasound applied to the biliary and pancreatic uh, and digestive system, where, and we can see here high full add survival advantage over trans arterial chemorization alone and similar results when compared to radio frequency. Also, another paper which, uh, which shows the effect of high full as a tool used for bridging for liver transplantation, and here. We can see that uh, HIFO can be a safe and effective method of bridging therapy that can reduce the dropout rate of patients who are on the liver transplant waiting list. In conclusion, extracorporeal ultrasound guided high intensity focused ultrasound is a non invasive, safe, and effective and feasible technique for tumor ablation at depth within the body selectively without harming overlying and adjacent structures within the path of the beam. HIFO ablation can achieve substantial tumor responses with only minimal and transient adverse effects. HIFO provides an attractive non-invasive therapeutic option in the management of HCC and liver deposits, as well as an expected emerging role in collateral carcinoma. HIFO treatment can significantly reduce the dropout rate of patients on the transplant waiting list as it can be used for downsizing large liver tumors and the bridging process for liver transplantation. Thank you very much.